We'll sneak around here. You'll never hit me over here. <laughs> Famous last words. What is going on again, Nerd Paraders? Thank you guys so much for coming back to dance with us today as we play some more Atlas, and we've got quite an interesting episode for you today. If you notice, we're in a very interesting area where our flag has been placed down, and we've got some stone structures off here. That's because we've come back to the Mythic Island and we've started to build. We're finally making use of some of the stone structure blueprints that we have because you can't put stone structures on your ship, at least not at this stage in the game. So we wanted to do something fancy. And what better purpose to use stone structures than in the, the fancy temple that we've claimed as our own pirate base for now. But the real reason you probably clicked on this video is because you saw the super fancy Hydra in front of the thumbnail and you're like, hey! I think these guys are going to battle the fucking Hydra. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to try to battle this guy because he is right up in our biz. And we want to test out a couple of things. Now, before we get into it, I'm going to talk more about it. We're going to show off the base and I'm going to introduce myself. I am Nick, guys. This is Nerd Parade. Welcome to the channel. And thank you so much for coming to hang. We're joined here with mine and crazy Rambo, Jackie to Plank, <laughs> <laughs> who's just that's being it. general Ram-like. And we're going to show off our quick little bit. I don't know. I just said, I just say things. <laughs> we're going to be showing off our base. We've got our awesome staircase that I got stuck on that I'm really proud of because I actually had a big hand in building it. We're getting cooked by the hydras. We try to run up it. And this is how we're accessing the higher levels of, oh shit, that looks really dangerous. I hope it's not breaking the stone stuff. That's right. That's the name of the base. Oh shit. That looks really dangerous. I hope it's not breaking the stone stuff. Okay, good. It's not. <laughs> oh wait, is that you? Yes, me. Oh, I'm dead. You, you killed I, you touched the fire and died. That feels bad. <laughs> We're going to respawn back at the bed because it's not a, it's not a Nerd Parade video unless I die at least a couple of times. Oh, I see what you did. Oh, you're smart. You're a smart man that does smart things. So we've decorated this thing as basically as possible, but we have taken over this area for our own. I'm going to climb back up the stairs, show you up the top. We haven't done too terribly much with it, but it is ours. We've laid claim. And we're going to try to take on the Hydra. Now, the reason why we have these structures set out down below, you can't really see it from up here, but I'll get my body back and show you once we get up there. The reason why we have those structures set out is for science purposes. Now, these are your standard issued base defense type structures. You've got your, your mortar, your large cannon, your regular cannon, your ballista, so on and so forth. Like, this is basically just kind of what we got going on here. Super fancy build. Really nice. Clip platforms. Everybody's happy. Things are looking cool. That's mostly it. We've taken over this one. We're calling it base. Now we're going to check out our, our structures. And we're going to try to use them for defending our base. But let me forewarn you a little bit before we get into it. The structures that we have placed down, they're not exactly designed for creature or personnel killing. Some of them can be, but the ones that we have placed definitely don't seem to be. We did tinker with them a little bit before we did the video. We didn't want to come at you guys with something that was going to be just totally false information. But we are going to show them off nonetheless. Now, there is one big, big problem with these, uh, let's say, mounted defenses. Now, the cannons, we talked about this in a previous episode. These are obviously something you could put on your ship. You can't put them on the gun ports, but you can not put the large cannons on your deck you run into the problem where you can only go up and down. You can only have vertical movement with the cannon. It's very, very limited. That's as low as you can go. And as you can see, we can't target the Hydra at all. We're going to see if Rambo can't operation distract a little bit, so we can get a couple of hits off. But the next one we have is the Mortar. This one is really freaking cool. The Mortar is really, really cool. But it's ass to aim. Super ass. It is super ultra mega ass. But it does have an extremely huge AoE uh, area of effect radius of boom. In fact, I'll show you. It looks awesome. Wait for it. Boom! Like, it looks like it would do devastation. It doesn't do that much devastation to creatures, as we found out. We shot a couple of cyclopi, and that's my new favorite plural for cyclopses. 
it didn't do a whole lot. It was really underwhelming. These things are designed for bringing down structures. They're not designed for anti-personnel. One thing that we really didn't get much testing on is the ballista, just simply because we had a hard time hitting stuff, and we don't currently have any ammo for this, or do we? Is it not pulling from the box? It's in the regular box. Oh, the regular box. Okay, I'm going to grab some really quick, just so we can test that one. That's the one we didn't test on cam. Uh, oh, my hero. I'm going to take five of these. Just half. It ought to work. And we're going to shoot a Cyclopi, since he's right there. It reloads super fast. Oh, no, we're not going to shoot a Cyclopi. We're going to shoot a, shoot a Fuzzy Trike. Oh, wow. Oh. oh, that did really good, actually. Okay, now we got to try a Cyclopi. This might be some more... This might be more anti-personnel than I initially expected. It's just hard to hit stuff with. You're limited. Ow. Oh, God, where did that come from? <laughs> where did the bat come from? Out of nothing. Oh, God, he's still here. Oh, God. Really? <laughs> I shot him and it didn't do anything. That's death number two, if you're counting. Feels bad. I did manage to shoot him, so it's only going to take me 75 solid minutes to reload. Oh, he's almost, he's almost dead. Mine, get him! Shoot him in his dick! Shoot him in his, shoot him in his bat dick! Rambo, get him! They're faced away from him. <laughs> Ow! He's mad because I called him a bat dick. He bit me. He's throwing guano at me. I can't do anything with these other guns. They're all facing the wrong way. We just gotta <laughs> wait. Oh, he's regening health faster than we can hurt him. Uh... What a turd! <laughs> Damn it, Bat, you're you're embarrassing me in front of my friends. Oh my god, I'm so dead. I am all of the dead. But at least I hope you're laughing. We're, we'll get rid of this pest <laughs> through volleys and, I don't, I don't know, some other type of strategic important. I thought placing down the foundations would make these guys stop spawning. It Ow! It appears <laughs> I was wrong. Why? Why me each and every time? He's just, he's like got, you. he's got a bat hard on for me. I don't understand. <laughs> All right. This time, but with feeling, we're going to try this. I hope, I hope that you're laughing. I really do hope that you're laughing this morning. I'm just watching laughing. I, I see that. No, no, bad bat. Give me stuff. Oh, you freaking dick. All right, I'm hiding. <laughs> he, you can't get me under here. Did you shoot that at me? I feel, no, shooting the bat. I feel like that was shot aimed at me. I'm, I'm legit hiding under here. I'm trying to crouch in real life. Have you successfully hit the bat yet? Yeah, he's on fire. Oh, good. Okay, that means his HP is going down. Not much, though. Not t Entry No game. tick damage? Oh, shit. Tick damage. Now is that Nothing. for me? Good, yes. Go after mine. I'm going to hide over here with you. That seems like a terrible idea, because then we'll both get eaten. Ah, shit. <laughs> fucking ass. <laughs> Why? Uh, lure him in front of the guns. That's it. We're done. I'm done messing with this guy. Lure him in front What's of the... the on? I was trying. I just... Ma oh, yeah. Lure him away. That's a really good idea. Back to the I'm actual testing. On. You're my hero. You can actually get stuff accomplished when I just run face on into bat-like creatures. What were we testing? Oh, the ballista. Yes. Ballista. Cyclopi, can I hit you? Are you close enough? There's a cycle guy over there. Too far, too far, too far. The the timer. Timer, not timer. Travel time. That's the word I'm looking for. The travel time of the ballista is a little butt. Uh, Jagged the Plank, you want to be Operation Distraction? I sure can. Let's see if we can't do some damage to the Hydra with the with the ballista. Oh, you are right on his head. Oh, hey, what's up? Oh, That's fall damage. Oh, <laughs> broken leg. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, you, you, no, you did good. You did good. Jackie, do good. 296 and 592. That's not bad. It's just ass to try to hit him. Right in his face. Oh, yeah, right in his face. Oh, you dick, he moved away. I'm going to get as many shots on this guy as I can right now. Whoa, whoa. I'm going to come a present for you. Is it more ballista bolts? Because I need those, right? It's not the bad. Oh, you got him! You're freaking... I'm going to headshot him. Did you? Nice. Professional. I'm going to use the rest of these ballista bolts because they are kind of working a little bit. But we do have the high ground. This is the whole reason behind this base. Is the It's the Hydra slaying outpost. And this is why we kind of decked it up the way that we did. It doesn't seem like any of the stone structure stuff is taking damage from him. Hit that. Oh, come on. Really? I have it right here then. Hit that. 
Okay. Ooh, yeah. 296? Yeah, 296 and 592 to the body. Yeah, but then we run into this problem. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Go to your job, Rambo. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm... We don't call you Rambate for nothing. Oh, damn. <laughs> All right, well, we're moving on to the next type of uh, arsenal that we have. Catapult? Does this one have any... Oh, yes, it does. But, again, it's another ass type. You can't really aim this one. We've got yellow here. Oh, we had it. Uh, We're not... Oh, oh, oh. We're firing. Did it hit? Oh, it did. 252, I think, is what that said. And there's one that... Were you just shooting him? <laughs> 280 with the... Uh... Carbine. That's kind of what we're getting at here. Let's try the cannon. It's just too limited. As far as base defense goes, I can't foresee a lot of these things being used. Puckle, maybe, but even the Puckle has limited range. Let's try this guy. This is one of the canister shots. Oh, that's got a that's a rock golem. Yep. Uh no, I don't think I did any hits here. Oh, I got the Oh, I'm gonna die. I got the I got the I got the herpes in my eye. Yep. He can reach me from that point, but did he damage the structures? Is stone protected yes. from it does damage it. Okay, I'm glad not much. only a hundred damage though, it's not much. I'm glad we used the tier stuff then. Just in oh, case. Yeah. I'll pick up my body in a second. We're still sciencing this out. The gun did not get damaged. That's a bad shot. I really gotta aim this one. But so far, this has been the most advant- Oh, there we go. This has been the most advantageous gun. It has the most range that you can work with. No. It just, just the angle. It's all about that angle. Base defense. Any type of, like, creature killing. Travel time again. Those are the explosive canisters. They, I think they do the best. You're going to want to go hands-on. You're going to want to break out your carbine. And I, that's what we're kind of getting at here today. Some of these structures are just underwhelming when it comes to protecting your base. However, when it comes to attacking a base, that's when these things are really going to shine. Now, if you put this on the back of a horse carriage or something along those lines, you're going to be able to charge in with a mortar and angle it and blow into someone's base pretty effectively. That's where these things shine. As far as defending yourself, defending your territory, making your last stand, calling it the Alamo, whatever you want, find other sources. Puckle works, but movement limited. The Swivel Cannon, pretty good. Again, movement limited. Running and gunning is probably going to be your best option. And that's how we're going to try to take on the Hydra today. Holy long walk for a short drink of water there, Nicholas. Oh my god, this is why we have the high ground, Anakin. We are trying to take on the Hydra from our little base here. So again, this is going to be maybe ridiculous. Uh, lots of Jackie DePlank deaths. Although, the bat has killed me more than the actual Hydra has. Ooh, this is, I feel like this is going to take a while. Mine, you have... Ooh, damn, it hit me. You have some of the flame arrows, don't you? I'm going to die here. Uh, there's some in the box right here. Try it. Because the flame arrows... Eh, yep, we're, we're sleeping now. The flame arrows <laughs> and arrows have this distinct advantage of being able to be fired faster. That's what I really like about the bow and arrow. The carbine is a big one-tap amount of damage. Big damage between long intervals. Let's get back into my body. I've got normal arrows, but I want to try some of these flaming arrows. Let's see how those work. 13 ought to do it just for purpose of, of science. We'll replace my bow. Let's see if I can drag those on. Perfect. We got that. All right. And ow. So, he yeah. Hurts. He does hurt. And our stuff is really not damaged. Not here, anyway. He's damaging us before the structures are getting hit, which is great. So stone is... Stone was a good choice. And I missed that one. Oh, that was your car being hit. Nothing. Ooh, 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 back it up. Ouch. Yep. Oh, there's there's some. I saw some small numbers. Hit, hit him, hit him, hit him. All right, I'm aiming way too low. Oh, God. How about, how about one of those? Right in your snaky eyeballs. Or I'll just continue to keep missing. <laughs> we'll sneak around here. You'll never hit me over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
famous last words. <laughs> you know what, Hydra? You know what? Screw this guy. Why do we put the beds right here? Because we're dumb and we don't know any better. That's why we put them there. I mean, honestly, we... we we were so excited to try to take on the Hydra that we were just doing anything that could get us to take on the Hydra. Stone was a good choice. I'm glad we did that. I feel like the the wood stuff would be totally just bunked right now. I'm going to try that. That ought to hit him, right? Let's try to take out that one damage head. No, let me... I'm not getting hits at all on the flame arrows. And it looks like it should. You're getting great hits with a carbine. That should hit something. No. I'm too far away. I have to be. Oh, shit. We're about ready to find out what happens when you take down a head, though. All right. You know what? Volley. Volley time. I'm on fire. Are you? You're probably going to go, too. Eh, quarter health. Actually, you have the best gear out of all... You dick. You have the best gear out of all of us. So you yep. might be fine. We're going to attempt to volley. We've decided that the bow and arrow is not worth it, even though I did have a nice, fancy, tiered bow. I just couldn't manage to hit him with a range. But the carbine, that's where it's at. There's one. There's two. Dude, we got a head. We took out a oh, head. There's a stump there. It's just a stump. We blew it off. That's fantastic. Uh, four more to go. Uh, I've got 47 bullets. How many bullets do you have? 47. 16. Oh, great. Okay, so we might have enough to bring down all the heads and maybe slay the mighty Hydra. I am on Al. I'm also dying. I'm on board with this. What do you say? We give this the old nerve parade flare and speed it up ever so slightly so we can get this kill.
and he went down. That last hit was huge. I think it was like his, uh, whatever the last one of what to kill him. It was kind of came as a surprise. I, all the heads were down, then all of a sudden, like, oh, pfft, he just exploded. That's fantastic. Let me see if I still got a grapple hook. We could try to pro grapple our skills. Our pro grapple skills are way over there. We got to dodge Cyclopi. We got to dodge Rock Golems. <sighs> Alright, Rambo. I'm going to take a running leap for it. Dun, 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 dun. That was a mistake. Okay. Uh -oh. <laughs> nope. I... <laughs> I started to regret the decision, so I'm like, I'm gonna go right here. Oh shit, Cyclopi. Well? Oops. Oh, you fell? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Operation Ramstraction? I mean, we could try to take out the Cyclopi if we hit him in the eye. Hold, hold still, right there. I have the high ground, Anakin. We're gonna, sh oh, we're gonna snap you right in the face. 840? That was definitely so far, an, though. That was definitely an eye shot, but it did nothing. It did yep. like next to nothing. He's, ah, run away! He, he's blinded though. With science. Oh, you are dead. Are we gonna death run this? Oh shit, no. Probably. Oh yeah, that did nothing. All right, death run, here we go. Oh shit, that's a wolf. Oh shit. <laughs> that hurt. Oh a shit. Lot. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, what did I grapple? Now, Cyclops. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to death run it. Operation Ram Distraction has been successful. Maybe we're good enough to get our our body. Okay, we've got our, our body back. Let's see what's in this turd. We have 2,000 Mythos from that, and artifact, two artifact key, two artifact keys, what the hell? A faint hum resonates within the center of this key, giving it an unnatural feel in the palm of your hand, and it spoils in two hours. I have no idea what to do with that, so I feel like this one's probably going to spoil, unless we can preserve it somehow. Oh, did it give anything? Leather? Oh, wolf. Uh, There's a wolf coming. Meat? Meat? Leather? Meat. Leather. Meat, 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 more meat? Yes. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, the wolves are back. Oh, the oh, that's, a, that's a bear. Okay, bears are friendly. We just got to give them honey and snuggle them. <laughs> okay. Just go up here. Just go up here. Oh, please hook. Oh, that is a proist of grapple. Yes. All right, we're back in the safety of our castle. And we're going to test out the one gun that we really didn't mess a whole hell of a lot with. That's going to be the, the mounted puckle. Now, the puckle is really... We tested it out. It's uh, it's kind of interesting. We tested it out a while ago when we were treasure hunting, uh, fighting the Army of the Damned. It was extraordinarily lackluster. We're going to try it out against this Cyclops here to see if it makes a decent anti-personnel gun. And I'm going to probably say if it's anything like it functioned against the Army of the Damned when we used it, it's not going to be that great. Uh, Cyclops is coming. Let's see if I can do a dome shot. Rate of fire is good, but damn. No, I missed I missed each shot. And the range... The, or, the range of movement is kind of butt. Like, I can't even get that wolf. Uh, here's, an, here's a wolf. I'm just going to line it up. That should have hit. The range is ass. That is... Oh, it's super ass. Does this function like a short-range shotgun? I thought it was supposed to be a sniper. Disappointment. Ultra disappointment. You're, you're definitely better off with a swivel cannon. If you're mounting stuff to defend your base, you're definitely better off with a swivel cannon. The only thing that I can say so far for the castle, I'm, I, I don't like any of these for offense. Uh, I'm sorry, for defense. For offense, they may work out a little bit better. The range on the puckle is kind of ass. The mortar is going to be absolutely amazing when we're blowing stuff up with it. I really can't wait to try it out. But the stone structures did a great job of surviving against the Hydra. Now, we kind of went a little bit big with this. Since we weren't using stone structures anywhere else, we chose this awesome place to use our stone structures on. So we went big. We used the blueprints that we covered, uh, recovered from the flotsams or floatsams, and decorated out our piratey castle, but... 
all in all, for the artillery, I gotta say, I'm a little, I'm a little disappointed. I, I feel like we did much better running around with the carbines. What do you think, Rambabes? I think so, too. Feels good. Did, oh. you, just, did you just jump off? Because I was going to try to shoot you. Yes, I know you do. Okay. That's why I jumped off. You chose the high road. Thank you guys so much for coming to hang with us today. I hope you enjoyed this episode enough to drop the thumbs up button for us. Let us know that you liked, the, liked it that way. If you thought the Battle of the Hydra was really cool, I can't wait to take on some more of the other mythical creatures that Atlas has to offer. It probably wasn't the best way but i feel like it was probably the most cost effective way we were using primitive or common carbines made by mine we went through half basically half durability on it and i didn't even blow through 50 balls i think we probably went through a uh, grand total of 110 between the three of us but we did manage to three man kill that hydra from the high ground and get the keys that are going to expire in only two hours we have to figure out what it's going to do but that's going to wrap up the episode like i said smash the thumbs up button if you haven't done so yet subscribe to the page for some more cool videos just like this one or don't who the fuck cares what do i know most importantly of all guys remember to take care of yourselves out there stay awesome and we'll shoot this crow. Yes! And catch you in the next episode. Later. <laughs> That's the best shot I had all day. <laughs>